Thanks for watching. Today we're going to explain how a frameless cabinet shop would cut a frame inset style kitchen with integrated frames. So one frame going over the whole thing, cut out on the CNC machine. The first thing that we have to do is we have to create a panel tool group. And the only thing that this group is doing is it's just cl cleaning out the corner, the inside corners of the uh, of the frames. We find that a 1 8 down shear works pretty good to clean out the corners. Of course there's a bit of a radius there, but it's not enough to, to notice. It still looks nice and clean. So I'm just going to delete these other tools. And my final depth here is going to be uh, 0.75 or right, we're, we're just going to click through cut so that'll do a through cut it's just going to cut and do a perimeter pass all the way around um, so that's all we need there is just the down shear cutout if you are having trouble with your down shear you should have it already set in here for for your pass depth if it's if you're having trouble going too fast of course you need to do small passes uh, and, and you won't be cutting out the whole thing anyways with a 1 8 usually you'll cut it out with a 3 8 down or something like that so we're going to save that then we're going to go to well we can get out of the optimizer and then we're going to go here into a job so I need to go to my door settings and I need to, I'm going to use the base door as my frame and uh, obviously you would override this for your part individually but for this case I'm just going to do it here. So you want to go, uh, not pocketing tool but routed door tools and you want to click your frame cutout. Okay, so now we go to products. A few other things you have to do is set some parameters here. So uh, let's just look at our parameters. So we have, we're using 5 8 material. So our frame, if we're, we're just planning on screwing the cabinets together, um, our frame is going to be inch and a quarter. So everywhere that's a frame is inch and a quarter. So I'll show you how we set that. So every time you drop a cabinet in, it just automatically sets it. So you want to go to the face tab. Uh, so frameless, we're cutting it as frameless, even though it's face frame inset because we're kind of cheating a little bit here so that we can make the frames as one piece. Uh, so go to doors, sorry, and this is where you're going to set your reveals. So you set your pair gap. It depends if you're going to have a, a rail in the middle of the doors. You'd want to set your pair gap at inch and a quarter or whatever. We're just doing doors that close tight and frames around it. Uh, frameless reveal top. We're not even having a frame on the top. We're just doing um, a frame on the sides that goes up. If you did want to, you'd increase this amount here. This this method here actually gives you a bit, it kind of gives you a little bit better access to the drawers. It's kind of a hybrid between frameless and uh, inset face frame. Uh, frameless review the bottom, we set it at 3 8 so that the bottom, I'll show you here, the bottom of the frame is resting on the bottom of the cabinet and also providing a little bit of a gap. And then we have the gap between. So let's frameless reveal mid. Right here, inch and a half. So I have my inch and a quarter frame plus a plus an eighth plus an eighth. And for a face frame inset, it's way easier to make everything one eighth gaps everywhere just to simplify everything. Okay, so I would go through and set your, of course, you can set your top drawer height and all that as well. But most importantly, you want to set these uh, reveals bigger, way bigger, so you can fit a frame in there. So click OK. And once you do that, you basically have a, you can drop any cabinet in. 
Uh, let's do no finish then. I'll drop in a third one. Uh, three drawer, drag, drag it in. Finished on the right. So as you can see there, you have a full a full cabinet with gaps all the way. So what you need to do now, sometimes this becomes a bit tedious, but it, uh, I feel like you save a bit on the fact that you can cut it on the CNC machine. So it may negate how tedious it is. So overall length, 74 and three quarters. So now what you wanna do is drop in a frame or a door. And you don't wanna do a door in the library here. Uh, you, the mosaic does have just a straight up door, cabinet door. This one doesn't work so good. You need to actually just drop in a single door cabinet, something like this, drop it in and just make sure all, none of the parts are active. So you'd go like this, drop that in. Parts to build, clear all, and the only thing you want is the front face. And it's still gonna wanna cut the interior, so you just delete that too. And then this way, you can actually override some of these settings here, and that's why you wanna have it like that. So I'm just gonna go back to my original one here. So 74 and three quarters, and the height of my cabinet case, is 30 inches so I want it actually to extend beyond so that's why we went 3 8 here so you got your 1 8 gap you got a quarter inch and I want to extend beyond 1 inch so 31 inches high is how I want how tall I want this so 31 and then this is where you want to have your when you open the windows, you want to have this whole sort of setup visible and or if you press Windows Shift S on your keyboard, it will go kind of gray like this and then you can highlight this window here and it'll give you a screenshot of it and then that way you'll have the, the door sizes handy because you're going to need that. So double click this, then go to the face tab select this i'm just going to make sure i don't have any adjustments on there okay so you want to override i think i want to move this out of the way a bit so i can see what i'm doing better override and then this is where you're going to make a frame so in this case i don't want to pocket it i want nothing the top like i said i have no frame on the top otherwise you'd leave that so you set this at zero uh my sides are inch and a quarter, so let's just change this to 1.25. Change the bottom margin, 1.25. And for us, we're going to split it vertically. My uh, center styles are going to be 1.25, 1.25. Oops. Okay, so I have three different openings. So I'm going to put three sticks in there. And then, so my opening this way is 23 plus quarter inch. So 23.25. I mix that up a little bit. There we go. And then this one, same thing, 23.25. Okay, so, Sorry, my frame's not quite the right size. That's why my 24 is uh, there. So let's cancel out of that, cancel out of that, go size. And we'll set this at the 74.75. Then we go back to the face tab. We click uh, overrides. Okay, so you should be pretty close within a fraction of an inch once you get that set in there. So 23 and a quarter, 23 and a quarter, 23 and a quarter, pretty much. So we're going to click OK. Oh, but we still need to split it vertically. So we split it this way, split it this way, split it this way. My top gap is four and three quarters plus quarter inch for spaces. So I'm going to set it at five. And if you click on the letter, you can just type in the five there. 
Okay, and then we, we split these one more time. That should be good as it is, because it'll split it right in the center. Otherwise, you do the same thing, add an eighth. Click OK, click OK, click OK. So now you have a full frame that you can run on your CNC machine. And basically what I try to do is just overlay it right over top of it. Um, you may, sometimes you need to outset it a little bit to bring it over. And you can also change the depth to just 0.75. And the elevation is a bit different. So we have one inch. My standard toe kick height is four and three quarters. So of course we can go in and add a toe kick to this as well. So toe height's overridden here. So let's set it at three and three quarters. We change our height to 34.75. Uh, or sorry, 34.75. Okay, now if we drag that over, so this is 24 and a half, this is 20, this is outside only one inch, so let's outside at 25. So then you'll be able to overlay it over top and you can confirm that your gaps are pretty close. The way that I'll usually uh, set it in its position is I'll go and click this cabinet and I'll get my left center. A little tedious but it is certainly a way to sort of work around. I know Mosaic's working on uh, something, like, something like this automatic. It's not quite ready yet. Uh, so less the panel 0.625 okay so there you go you got nice gaps all the way around we'll usually fasten this with like silicone and and glue and a clamp fast cap does have a tool called style right which is like a 32 millimeter uh, clamp that you stick in your hinge holes which comes in handy for uh, clamping on a style uh, but yeah so that's basically how you do that. And then just to show you how it would work in the cut list, let's go to frame. Let's make sure we're the right material. Three quarter MDF. I'm just going to run it all and delete all the stuff I don't want. Uh, da, da, I got a few frames in here, so I want just this. I'm going to go to Optimize, uh, Optimize Selected Parts Only. So we'll optimize that. Oh, I got to select here my proper tool set. Uh, we'll let you do it after. So let's delete this sheet. Let me go back here. CNC doors, optimize selected parts only. Oh. There. Okay, so there we go. So generate G code, calculate. So it's doing its one eighth, then it's doing the inside. So what I'd usually do is push this one up to the top. So it's gonna do the bigger cutout first with the bigger tool. Then it'll just clean out the corners with this one then it'll do a final pass around the exterior. So do a little 3D show here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a weird bug going on there, but um, this should cut out pretty much perfectly. Um, if, you, if anything, in this, you may end up having a little bit of a rounded edge in this corner here, but a little sanding block would be good to go. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how you would run frame uh, face frame inset cabinets if you're a frameless company so thanks for watching have a great day